Sure, it's beautiful. Next year we'll be better prepared. We just, we had like literally two weeks of being on the property before snow was snow and freezing temperatures. And we've managed to accomplish this in just that amount of time. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of us for persevering and fighting through it all. It's been, it's been tough, but this was a tough build. It wasn't just, it wasn't just make a box. There's just all sorts of weird dimensions, and the ground had limitations because we just laid down the the gravel and everything, and it just and everything that could freeze or could suffer from being frozen is inside the RV with us. Yeah, I think the RV has what. Um, 400 square feet inside, no. How many did you say? 200 and some? No, I think it's, it's somewhere between two and 300 if I had to guess. Yeah, and that's... It's difficult to completely estimate off the top of my head because of slides. Yeah. But it's roughly what, 8 feet by 37 feet. Uh, it's 36 to the tip of the hitch. And that's that's with the uh, the bumper. So it's... It's going to be, the hitch is four feet, the bumper is another foot foot beyond the back wall. So, five feet, so 36 minus five, it's a 31 foot physical structure. And that's not usable space, it's got all of its furniture and everything. So we're literally, we literally just walk around in narrow little paths and everything in here. It's, it's really, uh, it's difficult, and our pipes are frozen, so we can't do well, laundry. At or this point, after four months of sub-freezing temperatures, our water tank is probably oh, yeah. frozen. It's going to be quite a while before we have running water. Yeah, yeah, it's it's bad. It's, it's bad. But I have pineapple. I'm excited about pineapple. These are my wash tubs, my clean dishes. It's dinner. Our box is waiting to go to recycling. It's just kind of a very awkward situation right now. But yeah, I got a lot of pineapple. Thank you, Sam's. And this is where we keep our water jugs. And these two that have the tape on them are they ruptured so well i wouldn't say ruptured they just have so they were left outside. yeah they were left outside in the in the cold so this whole seam under here on both of them is broken so i used i used flashing tape which, to seal them which didn't actually fix, it, it it's helped a little bit but i didn't get all of it apparently but uh at least we don't have massive puddles on the floor but we use this for, for washing dishes or whatever. But mostly washing dishwashing water comes from the snow. And then we dump it outside. So then we come in here. We take off our wet boots on the, on the plastic. That's my camera case that all my camera gear is out of. And I've got it sitting there so that I can put all my camera gear back in. Shoe goes here. Slipper goes on. Repeat. I'm trying to stay organized in all of this, but it's difficult. And it seems like every time we get something organized, something else comes into the mix. I need to, buy, I need to change. I have a little more than one hour to get everything done. In our hallway is single file. And this is where I work. Blankets on my lap. Jordan works here. Blankets on his lap. We just try to 
charging station. Yeah, cat food, camera gear, fruit. Um, this is fruit and fruit. And then we have vegetables, beans and tomatoes. My rice is under there. Those are my papers and documents that need to be kept. Um, TV and everything. And yeah, wet wipes. Wet wipes galore. That's for basically, that's how we bathe right now. And then we have a three, three wash bin system. And it looks really bad right now, but it's actually not as dirty as it looks. It's shampoo. I got to wash my hair. And, um, but yeah, so this right here is pre rinse. This is wash. And this is rinse. And that dirt in there is actually my container falling apart. My, my water pot. It's the, um, where are you? Right there. So we have like no room for anything. This is all clean stuff and everything and just no no place to put anything until we get stuff out and then we can, it's all the gloves and goggles and flashlights for letting the dogs out, cat food and storage stuff. <laughs> the battery from the truck and yeah, it's, and then we keep rags down here because if we wash ourselves, or track in snow. We just, these are like literally just for washing up fallen snow water. But yeah, that's difficult in here. Um, we hang up stuff wherever we can because we were always going outside and getting wet. Most everything fell off the walls when we traveled here. So pictures are down, but there's just no really good way. Valance fell off. Yeah. yeah. All right. That is all. Oh, you're wet. Are you wet? You're all <laughs> wet and cold. Oh. You're wet and cold. Poor baby. Are you wet and cold too? Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, so many kisses. So this is snow from the roof. And we've been harvesting um, snow from the saw table for washing dishes. And last night I washed my hair and I'm so excited. So this is where we're dumping our dishwater right here. Jordan carved out a little path. and He brings the, the buckets out and dumps them for me down there. It's just, I use the least amount of soap I can. It's biodegradable and really, really, in tune with what we put in the ground here. It's definitely caused an awareness that we didn't used to have. We thought we did, but we didn't. Um. Jordan, Jordan's using that box to make um, uh, snow bricks. Because <laughs> he's a cute. A little effort snow brick. I don't want to yeah. pick it myself right now. I got enough to do. He's so cute. Because <laughs> uh, I, I can't get enough angle on the roof to get the back. Yeah, I was actually thinking that maybe if we keep this pitch for next year, we might want to create some sort of a walkway over here so we could at least get to the well, roof like better. But if we extend this out uh, ground-wise, uh -huh. then it'll be a lot easier. Yeah. Um, because I, ha I can only walk on that little platform. All the work that I'm doing right now is pure arm shoulder yeah. work. But over on the other side, I can do like I did over here, where I can kind of walk uh -huh. and let my legs do some of the work. Yeah. So I'm switching to that side for now because there's enough snow down here as it is. All right. But there's still a lot up there. And the problem that I always have is that, like I said earlier, the, uh, the back is the hardest part to get. So it's where, the, if any snow is left behind, it's there. And it just keeps getting taller. Bury it, sweet pea. I'm going to bury it completely under snow. I was just going to move it. But you twice turned it upside down. Oh, you don't want it turned upside down. I thought you were telling me to turn it upside down. Oh, you're so cute. It's got a little dusting in it. I know, but that's progress. Oh, I love you. <laughs> you are so, you are so cute. I'm keeping you forever. <laughs> he says yay. <laughs>